Hi. In a previous video, we created a site-to-site -site VPN connection and downloaded the VPN configuration file. In this video, we will use this configuration file to configure our PFSense VM which is acting as a customer gateway. In the PFSense web UI, click VPN, then click IPsec. On the Tunnels tab, click Add P1 to add a new Phase 1 entry. Type a description for this Phase 1 entry. Select IKE v1 from the Key Exchange version drop-down list. Refer to your VPN configuration file and enter the Remote Gateway IP address in the Remote Gateway field. Copy the pre-shared key from your VPN configuration file and paste it in the pre-shared key field. In the encryption section, select SHA1 from the hash drop-down list, then select 2 from the DH group drop-down list. Leave the default values for all other settings and click Save. Let's now add a Phase 2 entry. Click Show Phase 2 Entries, then click Add P2. Type a description for this Phase 2 entry. Next. Type the CIDR for your AWS VPC in the Remote Network field. In the Phase 2 Proposal section, set the encryption and hash algorithms. Click Save, then click Apply Changes. You can perform the same steps to configure the second VPN tunnel. For this video, we will use a single VPN tunnel. Now that our tunnel is configured, let's establish the VPN connection. Click Status, then click IPsec. As you can see, the VPN connection is currently disconnected. To connect, click Connect P1 and P2s. Now that our connection is established, let's check the status for the same in the AWS console. In the AWS console, with your VPN connection selected, click the Tunnel Details tab. As you can see, the tunnel that we configured in PFSense is now up in the AWS console. Now let's update our route tables. Click Route Tables. Select your route table. Then click the Route Propagation tab. Click Edit Route Propagation. Click Enable, then click Save. After enabling Route Propagation, a route for the static prefix added to the customer gateway is added to the route table. This route is listed on the Routes tab and is the route for our on-premises network. Let's now create firewall rules in PFSense. In the PFSense web UI, click Firewall, then click Rules. Click IPsec. As you can see, all inbound connections to our VPN interface are currently blocked. Let's create a new rule that will allow echo requests from our EC2 instance to our on-premises server and vice versa. Select ICMP from the Protocol drop-down list. From the ICMP subtypes, select Echo Requests. Set the source to your VPC CIDR.
set the destination to your LAN network. Once done, click Save, then click Apply Changes. Now that we have the firewall rules in place, let's try to connect to our EC2 instance from our on-premises system. As you can see, our on-premises system can successfully connect to our EC2 instance using its private IP. If you try to connect to an on-premises system from the EC2 instance, that connection will also be successful. That brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.